another weird creature. Right, just like an ant lion, it lives in the sand and feasts on prey that it might not make it out. Which is Sherlock Pit! It was dangerous, carnivorous creature, and it was one of Jabba the Hutt's favorite pets. Oops. So, you gotta be careful where you step, because you'll never know what might lurk on the sand dunes of Tatooine. Because if you do, you might not pay attention to the Sarlacc pet, because it's hard to see when it is in the sand. All right, you got that? Yep. So, the Sarlacc pit, of course, it's one of Jabba's favorite pets, and will eat <laughs> all right anything what are you doing so as i said the star will eat anything that falls into its death the star has rows and rows of sharp teeth that will be down to its mouth. The Seracrypt will slowly digest its prey alive, burning its skin and leaving only a skeleton behind. Then the Seracrypt will produce a rotten smell. The prey that they just ate will be spit out again by the Sarai Pit and will not be alive ever again because it have already been digested. The tentacles are used for grabbing its prey, pulling them down to the beak like tongue. And once it's there, the Sarai Pit will have a chance to grab onto the prey it will not let it escape with its curving inwards teeth. The teeth help the Sarlacc not let the prey escape. If the prey escapes, the Sarlacc will have nothing to eat for another 20,000 to 50,000 years. That's a lot of health it has. Even when you hit it, not gonna die. The Sarak pit was injured during when the ja when Jabba sail barge exploded. But now the Sarak who have trouble digesting Boba Fett, who fell into the Sarai Pit by Han Solo. So now, Sarai Pit will have to wait for more prey to fall into its death. How the Sarai Pit catches its prey? by burying itself into the sand. And once that happens, the Sarek will let the prey slide slowly or fast. Then it's sandy dune sea until the hard beak will grab on. That happened 
to every single slave that was on Jabba's skips. Because Luke Skywalker let them fall in. Because